How you doing, old friend? <coughs> Fine. It's funny. Us in and up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me. We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's going to be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Jose says that there's a crick around here. I reckon it's full of fish. Hey, old girl, come on down here. Why don't you show us this crick you've been pissing in? Hey. You don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good a long over. Gotcha. <laughs> Always dream crushing and bubble burst a few. Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. In front of you. Go on. Why don't we just fish here? There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, it was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again. Thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Jose. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought, especially both of you. I hope so. But now, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. That's... We have got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Nothing would give me greater pleasure, but... No buts. Not today. We fish and we enjoy the day. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Easy. Hold. Hello, gentlemen. Well, look what the cat drug in. Well, well, look who it is. I'm locking myself in a spot to bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It's good to meet you. You a Scott? Partly. 
the best part. <laughs> of course. <laughs> now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur! Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Come on, hurry. All right. Come on, we're losing them. Will you relax? We're not losing them. Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. I get it. I'm doing my best. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. Goddamn cowards hide behind that man. Ooh, that must have hurt. Leave him. Stay with that train. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. See the flat carriage? Head for that. Get us as close as you can. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. You are something else. Uh, you cop bastard. I didn't do nothing. Uh, God. I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Oh, just about. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? Take him in. Come on. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. You are a natural. Let's go, cool, girl. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? 
Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back. There is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall's big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Greys have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaite's. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. We're gonna bear left here. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Very little. Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Come on, partner, before he wakes up. Bring him in so we can show Sheriff Gray. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! <gasps> we got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now, I'll pretend to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old-timers who've gone, sadly, to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Now, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan. The edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Grays, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying. Arthur, that's Jose. You start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. Huh. Okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. 
Hosea, you see what you can find out about these great weights. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Sure, why not? Great. Hosea, why don't you lead us to that spot you were talking about? I kind of like this place. Okay. Let's see if we can avoid any more excitement. Gentlemen, follow me. I ain't got nothing left. So how far is this creek? It's a bit of a ride still, and it's not a creek. It's the same lake we camped on, just a different pipe. It'll be worth it. I saw some big drum and sturgeon there. Should be rock bass, bluegills, perch. Pickerel, too. It's a good spot. We'll see if you're as good at catching fish as you are at catching criminals, Arthur. Trelawney owes me for that. Trelawney owes everyone for something, but his information is good. Plus, we are now ingratiated with the local law. I'd say it was a worthwhile diversion all around. Uh, easy. Where is this spot, Hosea? Timbuktu? Not too much farther. Anyway, you two never told me properly about that business with Cornwall in Valentine. What happened there? Apart from scaring the living daylights out of Mr. Strauss. That was about the only upside. John and I didn't even have time to get paid for the sheep we rustled. It is safe to say Mr. Cornwall isn't a man to let bygones be bygones. Ambushed us in the saloon. He came with a lot of guards and what seemed like just about every lawman in the county. We've had closer shaves, but not that many. And if Cornwall found us, the Pinkertons couldn't have been far behind. They found me when I was fishing with Jack, remember? Listen, it was good we moved when we did, but that mess is behind us now. Yes. Jack told me you were a good teacher when you took him fishing. I said he must have you confused with someone else. Very funny. This is the spot. Down to the left there. Easy. Not bad, girl. I saw some boats around last time. Be good to get to deeper water. Yes, over there on the shore. Coming past. Okay, go! Ha! Whoa! I'm sure nobody would mind if we borrowed one of these. Come on. All right. This looks like a fine vessel. Okay. Come on, Arthur. Let's get her in the water. Huh? Oh, no. I got a good feeling about fishing here. It's supposed to be some incredible sturgeon. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Let me row. You boys are too old for real labor no more. You're too dumb for anything else. Ha, ha, ha. 
You're still too quick for me, old man. I enjoy picking on children. <laughs> now take us to the deeper water and pray for good luck and stupid fish. Well, what about stupid luck and good fish? That'll do, too. Keep going. I think here's good. All right. Good luck, gentlemen. Come on, Arthur. Don't be nervous. Should really come here at dawn or dusk. That's when you catch the best fish. We should use a lake lure. That'll give us a much better chance to hook in something big like a sturgeon. Strong with good old worm. Oh, worms are good for tiddlers like bluegill. rock bass, but you'd have to be real lucky to catch a sturgeon with one. Lures it is, then. You heard the expert, Arthur. Let's bait up. Keep the lure moving slowly on the water so it looks like a little fish just asking to be eaten. There we go. Damn it, I lost him. Okay, that was a bite. Are you trying to make your lure look like a dead fish? They won't be interested if it ain't moving. Got him? You got a bite. Nice, you hooked him. That feels like a bite. Ha! Got ya! Ah! I should have had that one. Hey, look at this beauty. There you go. Well done, Arthur. They can grow a lot bigger than that. Fella told me he once saw a monster lake sturgeon near the mouth of the river, just southwest of Saint Denis. Fifty pounder, he reckoned. <laughs> I would like to see that. Got one. Hey, Hosea. Remember that time we sent Arthur out fishing? He came back with three beautiful bass. Ah, oh, this again. I don't think I do. Oh, yeah. You do. He was maybe 20. 21. Walked in all full of himself. We had a big feast. Toasted him all night. This was 15 years ago. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> then, the next week, Arthur and I are at the market, and Fishmonger calls out, So how did you enjoy those bass? <laughs> Look, you can fish? Or you can go drinking all day, rob someone, and buy some fish. You hooked him? There he is. I used to go fishing with this feller back in the day. Wesley, his name was. Real miserable bastard, but he loved to fish. we go out all the time. But one day, we were river fishing, when we see a funeral procession going over the bridge, and out of the blue... Wesley stands up, takes off his hat, bows his head. Then he sits down, picks his rod back up, and carries on. Doesn't say a word. So I'm a little surprised and say, Wesley, that was nice of you. And he replies, well, felt I had to. After all, I was married to her for 30 years. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, dear God. I might swim to shore. Not bad, Arthur. Oh, Arthur's pleased with that one. Remember those big salmon I caught in Montana last year? We had a banquet planned that night until Kaka went and scoffed a lot. You never had control of that dog. Uh, he had some spirit, though. Never lost the puppy, and that's the end. 
You know, I remember us saying how Blackwater was the furthest east we'd ever been. A as a group, I mean. Feels like the more we try to head west, the further east we end up. We had all those safe spots picked out to lie low in New Austin after the ferry job. I liked it there. Still open and wild the way it should be. Somehow the desert makes you feel closer to the sky. No point us trying to get back that way anytime soon. Pinkertons had patrols out all over tall trees and gray plains. We saw when we went back for Sean. Well, look at us now, huh? It could be worse. Plans change. That's just how life goes. Fish on the line, Arthur. Did I ever tell you my mother's buried in Blackwater? Really? She is? Apparently so. I, uh, I only found out from an uncle of mine years later. Last I knew, she was still outside Philadelphia. I left home at 15 and didn't see her again. She and I didn't always see eye to eye. I wasn't always a very obedient child. I can only imagine. Still, I loved her in my own way. And she, me, in hers. <laughs> Somehow, even from the grave, she managed to have the last laugh. Hey, I reckon we call it a day, fellas. Already? You ain't been chasing down outlaws. All right. I think we got a decent haul here. Pearson will be happy. Should we head back? We could keep the boat. Not too far back to camp from here. Good idea. Could be useful. What about the horses? Well, they'll find their way back. Just follow the shore south, Arthur. That was fun. Uh -huh. Thank you, boys. Now, Hosea. Yes. How about a song? Okay. Um, all right, I got one for you. I asked that gal to give me some. I asked that gal to give me some. She says, wait till the taters is done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. I couldn't wait till the taters was done. Threw her on the floor and I knocked off some. I wish to God I'd have passed her by. Mm -hmm. I wish to God I'd have passed her by. Tater got burned and so did I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty good. But you know, what song we should be singing? What? Well, look at us. Three mariners. Ah, of course. Well, we be three poor mariners who leak up from the seas. We spend our lives in jeopardy while others live at ease. Shall we go dance this round around around? Shall we go dance this round around around? Hey, that is a bully boy. Come pledge me on this round around. men that do our states disdain, but we care for the merchant men who do our states maintain. To them we dance this round around around, to them we dance this round around around, and he that is a bully boy, come pledge me on this ground of ground. You know, we should not let the folks back in camp think that we have too much fun. Indeed not. <laughs> All right. I think I... Well, I mean, we... are gonna be okay. I know. Oh, I always know. Whenever I got you two by my side, things are going to be just fine. This place will be good for us. For now, anyway. I hope so.
Well, I am going to take in the view. I'll give these fish to Pearson. You know, I think I've heard enough of your opinions, miss. Better not rub off on my pants. Yeah. him our zebra <laughs> well you can call him that <laughs> although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler oh dear you're missing the point aren't you it's an illusion a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses confound comprehension hoodwink your audience hoodwink our audiences <laughs> dear boy don't be so dreadfully literal no one will pay for the truth they only pay for deception the lord of the stage, dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? It's the difference between prose and poetry, it's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as... <laughs> as long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caligar Way. Please... I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do. Don't do this to us.
Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <laughs> no, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. You're lying from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <sighs> of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of it. I got it. I got the trail. These are paw prints. Looks like... Like blood to me. Shit. What's this? Found your dog. Ex dog, ex lion. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. <sighs> That'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. <sighs> well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. <sighs> The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. And you find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, uh, behind that log then. Okay. <clears throat> Grubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. She shut it. Oh, well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Let's go. We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. <laughs> Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought... Since they was close and all. Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, thinner the next. This is this comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, 
I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how do you end up in this wreck? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... You can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up in that sun. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Yeah. We lost the main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out? Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We were tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. And uh, now they're back. Some of them, at least. Why are we stopping? Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. Do you ever want to get in the sideshow business? I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good! Jolly good! You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her doing. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway line, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command Performance Material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly dreary, bloody lame. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. Hold your style! I am holding it! Hold yours! What's the ruckus, boys? Get back! We got a cursed creature in here! Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looked like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, if you excuse me, step aside. What? I said step aside. Yeah, boy. Didn't look like no... Let's go. Look what you've done! Look what you've done! Son of a bitch. Uh, I'll, I'll take care of this.
Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. Returns. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. Man eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Stay on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for. You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I'd known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they. Well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Ramo, boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado. As green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the lion? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. Yeah. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill.